You know what I love about games from the 80s? The ideas were so simple. Take Bubble Bobble, for example. It's just two dinosaurs blowing bubbles. You don't question it, and it just works. And though a lot of these old arcade titles would have such a simple approach, the games themselves are hard to master. With that said, let's talk about the 1987 NES port of Bubble Bobble. So, our two dinosaur characters are named Bub and Bob. They're actually humans, but they were turned into dragons and had their girlfriends kidnapped by the evil Grumple Gromit, aka Super Drunk. <laughs> yup. Going through the Cave of Monsters, our heroes must reach the end and fight Grumple Gromit himself. As for the gameplay, it's pretty basic. At first, Bub and Bob can shoot bubbles out of their mouth, capture an enemy in a bubble, then stomp the bubble to defeat them. Once all the enemies on screen are defeated, you move on to the next section. The level designs can get pretty wacky as you progress, and it's almost a challenge to figure out how to even attack enemies. You can drop through the bottom gaps of the screen to reach the top, but be careful, enemies can do this as well. You can also use your bubbles to help you get out of reach areas. As you progress through the game, the enemies will get harder. Some of them will start shooting at you with beams and fire. Not only that, but whichever enemy is the last one standing in a level, they'll turn pink and move around quick making them harder to defeat. Also, if you take too long at a level, an unkillable Grim Reaper monster named Baron Von Blubba will appear and slowly chase you around the screen until you either die or finish the level. It can get a bit nerve-wracking, but you'll also see a lot of power-ups along the way to help you out. If you find a shoe, you'll move around and jump faster. Finding bubblegum will allow you to shoot bubbles farther and faster. An umbrella will take you to the next level. A bomb will defeat all enemies on screen. Fire orbs will drop fire. Lightning orbs will shoot lightning to the sides, and so, so much more. You can also collect letters. Collect enough letters to spell out extend, and you'll get an extra life and move on to the next level. Since this title is a port of an arcade game, you bet this game is score-based. So after enemies are defeated, they'll turn into fruit. Collect the fruit, as well as random appearing items, to get more points. Collect a certain number of points to also get an extra life. Speaking of lives, if you lose all your lives and get a game over, you can simply continue where you left off. Your points will reset to zero, but hey, there's no stress here. So in conclusion, Bubble Bobble is a fun little title. There's lots of secrets and power-ups and even bonus levels here too. It can be a bit repetitive, but I find it a blast to play. And while it's fun in single player mode, it's a lot better in two player mode. It's actually one of my favorite two player NES games. The game even encourages multiplayer as you won't be able to see the true good ending without it. So grab a friend and get blowing. Blow, blow bubbles.